भैया आई एम गोइंग टू पास आउट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव वॉट आर द न्यूएस्ट ट्रेंड्स दैट आई नीड टू कीप इन माई रेज्यूमे सो दैट माई रेज्यूमे इज गेटिंग शॉर्ट लिस्टेड भैया इन माई स्कूल और इन माई ऑफ कैंपस इंटरव्यूज पीपल आर आस्किंग मोस्टली ऑन द ट्रेंडिंग टॉपिक्स दैट आर एक्चुअली नीडेड बाई द टॉप प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनीज एंड दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन भैया डू यू नो दैट ऑल द कंपनीज आर लुकिंग आउट फॉर दीज की वर्ड्स इन द रेज्यूमे टू मेक श्योर दैट their candidates are knowing all the latest trends in 2025 bhaiya you know that donald trump has kept almost like billions and billions of dollars on the ai projects so what are the tech stack that i want to know in 2025 bhaiya do you know that in order to survive in 2025 upskill and crack any kind of companies you need to know various kinds of things and for all your questions in this video i'm going to answer a one stop solution for you so let's get started into the video so guys as you are aware that from last two years you have been hearing on various kinds of tools like jenkins for ci cd then different kinds of tools like maven for building jfrog for uh, automation keeping your artifacts and kubernetes for your uh infrastructure deployments right orchestration as well as you would have heard the terraform for infrastructure uh, automation creation and managing of the infrastructure and many many tools in devops and sre but in 2025 what are the latest trends and keys that you need to have in your resume i will tell one by one and i will also tell you in the order that is very important for you and obviously you need to know all the basic things that are needed or you were learning in 2024 but in 2025 little bit enhancements let do let's do for your learnings as well as i will also make sure that i am also upskilling with you guys so let me get started on to the video so guys as you are aware that the infrastructure management for any company is going to be the top priority so in 2025 the terraform 2.0 is very very much important Terraform is always there for us as an infrastructure, as a code which is managing our infrastructure, provisioning our infrastructure, updating, deleting, any kind of thing. But in Terraform 2.0, improved multi-cloud orchestration. At the same time, you will have improved state management, faster provisioning, and it is also. making sure that different kinds of cloud capabilities is also given so if you are someone who is knowing the previous versions of terraform definitely check out terraform 2.0 make sure that you are learning on the aspects of multi cloud orchestration improved state management faster provisioning how you can achieve with this terraform 2.0 and whatever the keywords i am telling let's say like enhanced state management improved provisioning multi cloud orchestration you can also keep all the things in your resume okay so don't miss uh, to, to do, i mean don't miss to see these kind of keywords because the ats finds very unique keywords from your resume so make sure that you are doing that the next one is kubernetes as an ecosystem tools so while kubernetes itself is a dominant tool for country container orchestration the ecosystem around kubernetes continues to grow as you are aware and for your information the helm has also got upgraded in 2025 so with your all the basic tools jenkins for ci cd uh, terraform for orchestration of infrastructure cloud deployments and all those things the helm plays an important role and for your information many of the companies have undergone a helm treatment so what does this mean so the traditional way of converting a jar into a container and deploying onto the kubernetes is now completely changed to the helm package management where they are maintaining the helm repositories where they are maintaining the helm charts and the multi deployments at a single click and that is what the helm 4 is doing helm 4 actually the package manager for kubernetes and 2025 versions comes with more advanced version control security scanning and dependency management as you are aware that the maven and the helm are slightly relatable because maven also has dependencies helm is also having its dependencies and you are able to manage very well in 2025 and also kubernetes has given a platform for us customize a kubernetes native way to customize the configurations it is growing in use alongside the helm so you can also explore the helm along with that custom is as an option now the third point is git ops with argo cd and flux as you all are aware that uh, many companies have moved from jenkins to git lab and git hub and also like in in the same way like git ops with argo cd let's say like git ops 
is used for CI pipeline building and uh, your Argo CD, right, is used for continuous deployments onto the Kubernetes clusters, which are very, very much important, right? So let's see like one by one. Argo CD, very much important in 2025, a continuous delivery tool for Kubernetes, as I have told you, and it's becoming very popular because, you know, whatever the manifest files which you have kept in GitLab or GitHub, with one single click, everything gets converted into your pods in Kubernetes. It sounds amazing, right? Without any uh, you doing the intervention, it really manages everything faster and quicker. Now, Flux, again, a, as a GitOps tool, Flux enables you to manage deployments in Kubernetes. So Flux is again on top of, uh, you can say like a, a flavor, uh, which is given by DevOps ecosystem. Okay, and it can manage your Git repositories. It continues to gain momentum in the organization practicing GitOps. Now, whatever the organizations are practicing Git operations, GitOps deployment strategy, they will definitely use Argo CD and Flux. So make sure that you are using the same Argo CD and Flux to make sure that you are on the stand or you are standing on the latest side of 2025. Packer by HashiCorp. Again, many people don't know what is Packer, why it is important. So let me tell you, Packer is actually very much important in creating the machine images, packaging and making sure it is stored in a safer way. So let me tell you some examples. So let's say like um, I was working in Walmart and every time or every one week I have to deploy a new software. When I'm deploying a new software, my system, my EC2 instance or Kubernetes system or Kubernetes pods should have the same softwares that I was using the previous week. Okay. So what we can do is instead of always deploying the softwares and then deploying the application, what we usually do is we have an EC2 instance. Let's say I will deploy all my softwares. Let's say Argo CD. Okay. One software Terraform installed, Docker installed, Maven installed. And what I will do is this EC2 instance, I will seal it. Okay. I will create an image of this EC2 instance and I will say like, okay, this is my master image. Okay. And this packer will help me in doing all those things. Let's say with a one single click, okay, Jenkins integrated with packer with one single click. I am going to create my entire machine with all the softwares installed, with all the pre-installed binary softwares, networks, everything. And it will give an image and that image I can use for multiple deployments or spinning up multiple similar kind of instances. So it manages time, security, and also you can see like how much time uh, it is taken in the con complete conversion from uh, EC2 instance to an image. Packer is really useful and also it integrates well with the Terraform. So definitely Packer is one of the best tool, I would say. Grafana Cloud and Prometheus, as you are aware, any system that you are monitoring in 2025 definitely would need Prometheus and definitely would need Grafana. These two are like by the hand uh, in, in today's time. So I would recommend you to properly analyze the Prometheus integration with Kubernetes. If you are, if you don't know, I have done uh, various kinds of projects on YouTube channel. You can see and also because Prometheus UI looks very old. So you can always integrate Prometheus with Grafana and use the latest dashboards trends. And for your information, these two combination with Kubernetes is going to rock uh, the coming days. Okay. CI CD with GitLab again, as I have told you, GitLab continues to gain momentum very rapidly. The companies like Walmart and uh, even uh, where I have worked, Verizon was using GitLab. So you can definitely check out the CI CD pipelines can be created. The source code management can be done and all in one DevOps platform. This will give Cortex is one of the AI based. Now we will talk also a little bit on AI. So traditional DevOps tools, enhancements and the tech stacks I have told, talked. Now let's talk about the AI. So as you are aware that AI is gaining momentum guys. Okay. And it is rapidly evolving in this world of 2025. And as I have told you, Donald, Donald Trump, AI pe sare they want the robust AI to su support their security systems, support their federal government, support their entire legislative uh, council of applications and all those things. So that's why they want to maintain everything very secure. So you want to hear about Cortex uh, as an AI continues to shape DevOps tools like Cortex leverage machine learning to automate tasks such as log analysis, anomaly detection and root cause analysis in real time, helping organizations to detect and fix the issues. Now Cortex, you can just search a keyword like Cortex, how it is going to integrate with DevOps tools 
for your information those who are looking to learn ai with integration of devops the cortex can be the number one start point for you guys to explore on this particular site ai ml as you are aware from the last five years ai ml is running and it's going to be a boom in 2025 also so make sure that artificial intelligence and machine learning is also integrated with devops in some point of time you can also mention like personal projects or learning projects so that interviewer is aware that you have the interest to explore the other opportunities also multi-cloud and hybrid cloud is also one of the segment which you need to explore and finally serverless and event driven architecture so here architecture management and serverless managements are going to enhance a little bit because people are looking for automations from devops engineers for example if you take aws lambda is a serverless platform where you just write the code and it will do all the things for you right so i don't want to maintain servers i want my cost to be reduced i want my security to be robust i want my system to be very reliable that at any point of time it's doing my automation on the go so those kind of things is going to get boom little bit because companies want to save cost companies want to be more secure companies want to be uh, moving towards the cloud so all these things if we see this particular tech stack is going to rock if you are someone who don't know a proper devops roadmap where to start when to start and how to start then check out my recent roadmap on devops engineer it will literally help you and you can also follow this video if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel and share the channel link with your friends because good videos are rolling out on my channel so fir milenge bhai log behen log if you have any doubts comment in the comment section i'll definitely help you out and definitely look out for all the details in the description until then take care i hope at least a few of you would have now understood what are the things that you should be looking at and definitely in my brain cortex is the next one so you should be always having a aim to learn so until then take care bye